Welcome back, coin roll hunters. Thanks for joining me, Matthew, the great coin roll hunter, on another exciting episode of Big Money, the show that takes our favorite coins and currency and puts them under the microscope. Today we're going to be doing some birding on the Arkansas State Quarter. So uh, if you're a new viewer just checking in with us for the first time, uh, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell because you're not going to want to miss another episode. Also, if you'd like to try this yourself at home, check the descriptions below this video where I've included an Amazon affiliate link to the same exact USB microscope we use here on the show. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So if you followed our adventures yesterday, we did some coin roll hunting, and we came across this really cool Arkansas State Quarter with a bird on it. So uh, I'm actually, I'll bring that up for us right now. So uh, here you go. Now if I can just uh, get this in focus, move in a little. All right, there it is. This is the exact coin we pulled out of that uh, coin that coin roll. I'll leave a link below to that video if you want to join in on the hunt. Um, so uh, this wonderful design was actually engraved by uh, John Mercanti. Uh, this man is an incredibly talented sculptor and engraver, producing uh, more coin and metal designs than any other employee in the history of the United States Mint. Just an incredibly prolific career. In fact, he racked up over a hundred designs before he was appointed the 12th Chief Engraver of the United States Mint on uh, June on uh, May 19th, 2006. Um, I've got another big money video for the uh, Pennsylvania State Quarter where we talk more about John Mercanti. I'll leave a link below in the descriptions for that as well. But uh, just getting back to this design, uh, you'll notice that it has uh, two dates on the reverse of this quarter. Uh, the one at the top says uh, 1836. Now, uh, this was the year that Arkansas was admitted into the Union as a state, which occurred on uh, June 15th of that year. The lower date, of course, reads uh, 2003. Uh, this was the release year for the Arkansas quarter design. Um, Arkansas was the fifth quarter in the 2003 series and the 25th design in the 50-state quarter program. Uh, the 50-state quarter program began in 1999 and ran through 2008. The program commemorates uh, each state in the order of their statehood, with uh, five designs being released each year and each design only being minted for about 10 weeks. Uh, this particular coin uh, was minted in, uh, at the Denver Mint in Colorado, as denoted by the capital D there to the right of uh, George Washington's ponytail. <laughs> and uh, the Denver Mint produced uh, uh, 229,800,000 business strikes of uh, this Arkansas design. Um, a business strike is just what we call a uh, coin minted with the intent for circulation. Um, now, if you wanted to buy a business strike of this coin in Mint State 65 condition uh, from a dealer or a coin shop, you'll pay about uh, $1.25 in retail. Um, but if you want to buy the absolute best example of this coin, the San Francisco Mint has created 3408516 clad proof strikes of this design which are intended for collectors and a uh, clad proof of the Arkansas design retails for about three dollars but it gets even better if you're into stacking silver the San Francisco Mint also created 1,125,755 silver proofs uh, these are the top quality proof examples of this design and uh, they are minted from the original metal composition of our country's first quarters, which uh, contain 10% copper and 90% silver. That's right, I said silver. Uh, so this is why uh, those uh, silver proofs are my favorite types of uh, coins to collect, because not only do they offer a uh, stunning example of the design, they're also a uh, retainer for investment. So uh, if you wanted to get your hands on one of these fine pieces, uh, you'll be looking at a retail price for somewhere around $8. Uh, however, the price for a silver proof can fluctuate 
depending on uh, the availability of the coin, as well as the spot price for silver on any given day. So uh, that's enough about that. Let's get this coin under the microscope. Here we go. All right. Okay, so there it is. And I'm just going to clear the way. Let's make some room for us here. Um, all right, so we're going to start at the bottom of the coin here. Um, along the lower rim, uh, you're going to see the uh, motto of the United States written in Latin. It says, uh, E Pluribus Unum. Now, uh, in English, this means uh, one of many. And uh, above the uh, United States motto, you're going to see uh, the date, uh, 2003. Let's just make a little room for us here. Uh, this, of course, was the release date of the design. And uh, continuing upwards over the design, uh, we're going to see some uh, rice stalks. Now, this represents the first commercially successful rice crop in Arkansas, grown by W.H. Fuller. Uh, soon after uh, that took off, thousands of acres of prairie land were used to cultivate rice to eventually make Arkansas the leading producer of rice in the United States. Um, so just following the coin upwards, we're going to come across the, the name of the state, of course, uh, Arkansas there. And uh, the date that uh, Arkansas became a state, there it is, 1836. Um, and then we're going to go just down the center of the design here. And uh, what do we come across? This giant diamond. Okay, so this uh, is a symbol that represents the uh, Crater of Diamond State Park, which is believed to be the oldest diamond mine in North America. Now this uh, park also yields... Um, other precious gemstones, but more importantly, it boasts as being the only diamond mine in the United States to be open to the public and allows the visitors there to keep what they find. So you're going to want to add this one to your vacation list, folks. <laughs> but uh, moving to the center of the design now, we come across this uh, wonderful natural uh, nature scene. And uh, this reflects the uh, state's nickname, which is uh, the natural state. So uh, there you got some water, some trees. Um, Arkansas is host to more than 600,000 acres of natural lakes, clear streams, and rivers, uh, which is perfect habitat for this character here. <laughs> so this here is uh, the mallard and uh, the focus of our uh, hunt today. So uh, Arkansas is known for its sportsmanship um, with uh, the mallard attracting uh, people from all over the country to uh, hunt this magnificent bird. Um, but uh, not only is the mallard fun to hunt and absolutely delicious, but uh, they are also striking to look at with colorful and iridescent plumage. Um, the male mallard, known as a drake, has a uh, chestnut-colored chest, uh, a green head, and iridescent uh, purple-blue wing patches. And uh, they are a common year-round inhabitant of uh, many parks and lakes. So, uh, however, you might not know this. Um, <laughs> those uh, cute little fluffy baby ducklets that uh, follow their parents around in a cute line bobbing on the water... They are actually omniv omnivorous little monsters gobbling up uh, a diet of mostly insects when they're babies. So uh, it's only after they become adults that uh, their dietary habits shift more to a vegan uh, diet. So that's all I've got for you today. Uh, thank you for joining me as we mark off another bird from our birding state quarters list. And if you're enjoying the show, please share this video across your social media networks. And let's see if we can't get your other friends over to the channel to uh, talk about coins and stuff. So uh, be sure to join me tomorrow for another great coin roll hunt where we will be looking for uh, obsolete coinage, silver quarters, uh, coin errors and varieties, as well as, of course, birds in the 50 state quarter program. So uh, until we meet again, this has been Matthew, the great coin roll hunter, and I'm wishing you happy hunting.